Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 47. That is, what are positive test cases? Let me answer. Positive test cases are the test cases that are created to test whether users can perform appropriate actions on the application by providing the valid data. Those are the positive test cases. Example for a positive test case is login with valid credentials. Let's say I'll take you to this application tutorialsninja.com slash demo. I'll take you to the login page of this application here. The user is going to perform an appropriate action by providing the valid credentials into this login functionality and try to log in. Okay, so he'll provide the valid email address. He'll provide he or she will provide the valid password here and click on the login button and it got logged in. Okay, and the test case got passed. Okay, here you got logged in means he or she got logged in means the test case got passed, but the appropriate action has been performed. This is generally how the user is going to use the application as part of the login functionality by providing the valid credentials okay and the application should allow the user to log in so this is a positive test case okay this is an example of a positive test case what about the negative test cases negative test cases are the test cases which are opposite of the positive test cases okay opposite of the positive test cases are the negative test cases the intention or purpose of uh, running or testing use testing the application using the negative test case is completely different case okay here intention is different here intention is different negative test case intention is different here the intention of using the negative test cases for testing is to break the application okay the we are trying to break the application we are trying to find the defects in the software that's what is the intention but in case of positive test cases the intention is to see whether user is able to use the application properly or not by providing the valid data user is able to use application in a smooth manner or not is the intention in positive test cases but in case of negative test case which is an opposite of the positive test cases here the intention of testing is to break the application software okay by providing invalid data into the software okay while using the application functionality you will try to perform inappropriate actions on the application that generally users don't do okay and also we'll try to pass invalid data into the application with an intention of breaking the software or finding the defects in the software those are nothing but the negative test cases okay those are nothing but the negative test cases examples for the negative test case are login with invalid credentials okay no user will try to log in with invalid credentials right generally no user will try to provide invalid credentials here like this okay some a non-existing email address non-existing password and try to log in this generally users will not try to perform it is an inappropriate action not only that guys what if the user is trying to click on the login button without even providing this credentials okay without even filling the email address field and password field the user is trying to log in that is also an inappropriate behavior or action of an application of, of a user on the application and which will be performed as part of negative test case okay using the negative test case we perform this kind of testing with an intention of breaking the software or finding the defects in the software what if the developer has not implemented the code for handling this kind of situation where the user is trying to log into the application without giving the credentials okay so to find out such kind of things such kind of problems in the application we use negative test cases okay so as part of software testing guys we use both positive and negative test case okay we not only test the application using positive test cases but also we combine the positive test cases along with the negative test cases to complete testing guys okay so fine so hope guys you got the answer for what are positive test cases in this session okay so that's all for this session guys in the next session i'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye